long a symbol of the Ukrainian army's resistance against Kremlin-backed insurgents in East Ukraine. The control tower at Donetsk International Airport was destroyed on Tuesday as fighting escalated in the region. The destruction of the tower came amid waves of attacks on the hotly contested airport, which saw Ukrainian forces lose ground but refuse insurgent ultimatums to surrender the territory. Known by Ukrainians as cyborgs for their unwavering defense of the strategically located Donetsk airport, Ukrainian troops have controlled the facility since May 2014, despite almost non-stop attacks. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk blamed Russia directly for the latest escalation, accusing the Kremlin of sending troops and heavy weapons to bolster the insurgency in East Ukraine. In a statement, Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council said that insurgents used mortars, tanks, anti-tank guided missiles and heavy artillery during their assault on the airport. In response to the increase in hostilities from Russian-backed insurgents over the past week, NATO's top military commander said Tuesday that the military alliance is looking at beefing up its exercises in the Baltic Sea region. Yes, there has been an uptick, uh, a fairly uh, important uptick in the, the fighting across the last couple of days. Yes, there was a lull through basically both holiday periods um, leading into this. But what there was not a lull during those periods was in the continued resupply, the continued training, and the continued organization of the forces uh, east of the line of contact. And so those continue uh, to provide a concern and something that we have to be uh, thinking about. The resupply Breedlove was referring to may have come in Russia's recent so-called humanitarian aid convoy. Ukraine has accused Russia of using the convoys not to bring aid, but to instead funnel fighters, weapons and ammunition to insurgents. In Donetsk, chief monitor for the OSCE says his group has also noticed an increase in insurgent aggression. I can confirm that we have noted an increase in uh, incidents over the past 10 days. Uh, and that is an increase compared to the weeks before where there was relative silence in the area. Since insurgent aggression has increased over the past week, over a dozen civilians have been killed and at least the same number of Ukrainian soldiers.